Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Fred with IU Finder, and today we're taking a look at DraftKings Incorporated, ticker DKNG. This one's an interesting one. Not super consistent, like a lot of the companies that we look at. Kind of lacking consistency in their earnings. Uh, they've been up and down, always negative, but they're expected to go positive this next year. So we'll see about that. Earnings yield currently negative 8.44. I mean, for the price that you're paying, we'd really want to see positive 209. And we are not seeing that. Probably won't see it for a good three to four years. Cash flow yield just about break even. Negative 3% this last year. Typically a negative 19.69. That is something that we'd like to see go positive. All of their returns look awful because they lost money. So hopefully once they're in profitability, we'll see some better numbers here. Uh, debt to equity is kind of rough, 3.7. Again, we like it under one, so that is a pretty big red flag. They, they have a lot of debt. Gross margins are okay, 37.5%, but net margins, this last year they lost almost 22%. Usually they're losing 55%. So this is one of those companies where I want to see what they're capable of. and. I don't think now is the time to be getting into it because they haven't really shown. It looks like the company is essentially worthless at the moment based off negative earnings and cash flows. But once those go positive and we see a trend starting to form, we can form a better opinion there. Because revenue growth looks incredible. Analysts are expecting... 31, 24.5%. So we're going to go with 27 for the thesis. Share count. We don't like that they are issuing shares. It is slowing. Maybe 654 would be good for us. Assets shrank in the last two years. We'd like to see those grow. If the liabilities are outpacing the assets, that balance sheet is just going to end up in worse shape. And that's what we've seen historically, double-digit growth in the liabilities, single-digit growth in the assets, if not negative growth. So that's that's rough here. To our best estimate, low single-digit growth in the assets and right around double-digit growth in the liabilities. And then margins... We really want to see those continue to improve 5% per year, if not better. And all of that would give us a value in three years of 20, almost $24. And in five years, $29. So this thing is trading out at pretty far out multiples. You are getting an average annual return of about 12%, which is good. But the fact that you're starting out with an awful situation Earnings, cash flow, and balance sheet are all bad. It's not a good situation here. I'd like to see them turn things around, but it looks like it's going to take a bit more time. Probably have to give them about two years before I'd even consider this stock myself. Uh, we can take a look at some of the price trends to see if they're trending in the right direction. Looks like earnings, they definitely are. They will be positive this next year, as long as they come in as analysts are expecting. Cash flows leveled out just barely negative we want to see that go back to the positive side go join everything else on the positive side a balance sheet is deteriorating it's been on a downtrend ever since 2020 definitely not what we like to see but that's no surprise from what we're seeing in those numbers and then the actual share price is way up here not really correlated to anything at all and that's what we see with a lot of these companies that don't really make any money is just the market trying to target a price, hoping for some growth, but that's more of a gamble than it is an investment. And a reasonable growth scenario here would put your position underwater. Uh, you, you'd lose almost half over the course of the next three years in the fair value. Your position is essentially worthless to begin with, but it'd grow to half of what you'd be paying over the course of the next three years. And then if we can, if you got it at the 52-week low, 
you're probably looking at a bit of profit there. $20 is a reasonable price in the next two to three years. I would want it lower than that for sure. Sub 20 would not be bad on this stock based on what we're seeing. But still, with all these red flags, I'd wait for stuff to turn around before I get into it. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and enjoy the video. Comment what other stocks we should take a look at and subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything. And I'll catch you next time.